Hey, uh, Luca, uh, how well uh, do you know guys like Carson Wench and Colton Roberts? Uh, played against them. I know yeah. they uh, played for BWC. I kind of play there too, but a little couple years younger and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, I know all of them. I played against them quite a bit. Not as much Wedge as Roberts, but uh, yeah, they're... They seem to be good guys, good players. Nice to have a very large BC contingent here between those two, you and Macklin. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. See it grow a little bit. Obviously, like we all know each other somewhat, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. What is your takeaways last year for this year? Just the production and the development from the first year of development camp and then coming back this year. Uh, yeah, I definitely learned a lot last year. Uh, even throughout the year, having like Spiza and, and Todd kind of watching our games and giving me feedback and stuff. Just felt like the D zone and what I could work on has helped out a lot. Uh, obviously, I had like a pretty decent year over there in Portland, so it kind of worked out that way. And just coming into here, just kind of doing the same stuff, listening to what they say. Obviously, you learn a lot what it's like to be a pro and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. When we talked to you after you signed your, your contract, you said your goal is to hopefully play for the Barracuda. Has there been any direction? Is there just kind of focusing on the development campaign? Yeah, just focusing on this and then obviously going back for two months or whatever it is and uh, working out, getting stronger and stuff. Because obviously if you want to make that jump, you got to be really strong and get on the ice and stuff. So uh, just focusing on that. Since signing, has there been any difference? I know I spoke to, to Colin Graff after he signed over the summer. He talked about just the utilities, the, the, the help that you get from the Sharks just after signing with them. Have you felt a little difference? Maybe not necessarily before you signed, but after you signed, just you're able to use some more resources, if you will? Yeah, you definitely feel more comfortable. Uh, you know, they invest all that money into you and, and time, so uh, it's like kind of your responsibility to use it and get as much out of it as you can. Like after the development camp last year, a couple of the development coaches here were talking to you about the ways you needed to maybe adjust your game a little bit. How, how, what do those guys say to you, I guess? Uh, yeah, a lot of it was, was more on the D side, obviously being smaller and stuff like that. It's harder to get into the league. Uh, watch a lot of like Gerard and, and Hughes just to see what they kind of do off the puck. Uh, obviously, Hughes had a really good year, so it's it's fun to watch him and, and learn from him. So, uh, yeah, but a lot of it was just playing the D zone, you know, box out. It's like getting better at that stuff. Cause obviously, the next level, it's, it's a big thing. I was just going to say, I mean, what are the things that, you know, if you're a bit smaller defenseman that you need to sort of do to, you know, to get here to get to this level? Yeah, you gotta be pretty special at, at something. I mean, like if it's power play or like being deceptive, uh, even like breakouts, being like 100% on those, always getting out of the zone, like stuff like that, like little things, uh, those pay like really big dividends. So, and they obviously see it. So yeah. Um, you know, just uh, a little different vibe around camp this year. Obviously, with Macklin and, 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 and on the ice with you guys, it's just a little different this, this year than last year. You think? Uh, yeah, I mean. We had Smitty last year, so uh, <laughs> kind of used to the cameras and stuff around now. But yeah, definitely, you know, it was a little louder in the rink and stuff. Uh, you know, obviously having a generational guy like that, it's going to be a little louder and just more comfortable and stuff like that. So yeah. Does it bring you excitement on the ice? Like, do you kind of just feel like, hey, I want to turn some of those cameras to me type sort of thing? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, just having the crowd and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty special. And even like the game coming up, a little scrimmage, like it'll be, it'll be really fun having a, a good crowd there. And, seeing them watch us play and stuff. Uh, that uh, AHL bar to reach that, what are you going to concentrate the next couple months in particular? Uh, a lot of it's just like lower body strength and, you know, I had a long season, so kind of tweaking some stuff, uh, making sure I'm healthy. Uh, that's probably the biggest thing is, you know, getting to 100% and, you know, just getting stronger. And uh, your first time, I guess, defending Macklin Celebrini, what's your impression? What's uh, difficult uh, when you defend him? Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty elusive and deceptive and stuff. He's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to check him, I guess, you know, <laughs> play against Bedard and stuff like that. He's kind of another player like that. So uh, it's tough, obviously, but, you know, it makes us better. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Luca. Thanks.